Hello all, this is Dr. Dave Maslach talking to you about reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three and in this particular video I want to actually talk to you about how long a dissertation should be. So this is part of my Monday Write series. I'm actually a professor of innovation strategy and entrepreneurship and this whole Monday Write series is truly just talking to you about how to do Maybe it's academic writing, maybe you're a graduate student, sort of think, figuring this stuff out. So it's really focused on that and trying to help you out as much as possible. So this is a, a question, um, how long should a thesis be or a dissertation should be that a lot of graduate students think about, whether you're in a research master's or a PhD, PhD program is definitely, the dissertation is gonna be a lot longer than the master's program. But let me talk to you, and I'm gonna gear this probably towards a PhD and master's, you could just think of it as probably about, you know, half the size, um, maybe even a little bit less than half the size of a PhD dissertation, just simply because of the complexity of what's going on with the dissertation. So how long should it actually be? So on average, give or take, most dissertations or thesis are probably about 100 to 200 pages and this was pretty close to mine so my thesis dissertation was about 100 or my master's dissertation was about 100 and, i don't know probably about 120 pages and then my my phd dissertation was uh, over 300 pages which was long but you know that's that's sort of the, the name of the game and um you can see i put a link in the in, in, in the in the notes where you can see that somebody actually did some analysis on that and that's kind of close to where it actually dissertations are and what does what is determining sort of the what's determining factors of what makes a dissertation longer or shorter um, there's lots of different reasons why you're going to want one that's a little bit longer or shorter and you can see if you watch the other videos um, that I put out it really depends on a lot of different things so the first of all you have to think about the particular topic so if it's a novel new area um, there's probably actually a lot less to write about you can write a tremendous amount um, if it's a well-known topic then you have just a lot of stuff to read and a lot of stuff to write down to sort of show that you know the state of the art but if you're doing something that's pretty novel you probably don't need to write nearly as much but then again you probably do want to get into great depth depending on what you are doing I'll talk about that in a minute um, the second thing is talking with the method so if you're doing something that's new and different with the method then you're gonna to have to really dig down and describe what's going on you're gonna to have to go through if it's new data you're gonna to have to really talk about this new data how why it's important and all that kind of stuff um, you have to explain a lot and just even if it's a mildly new method you're gonna to have to just do a lot of work to explain what's going on and that is just I mean that's just the name of the game right um, the third thing that's important and this is probably I mean, other than the next thing I'm going to talk about, um, this is probably the most important sort of factor in what determines a, the length of a PhD um, thesis. And it's really, uh, um, it, it, it is your, your supervisors or your advisors that you have are going to push you. So if you've picked very rigorous supervisors and advisors, then they're going to push you to probably write a lot more or go into depth about something and really go into just get really deep into the particular topic. And that's a good thing, right? Like that is something that they should be doing. And if they are challenging you and pushing you, um, that's actually a kind of a positive sign that they're doing their job. Now, I, you know, don't want to be pushed so hard that it sort of ruins your job chances and stuff like that, but you really want to be pushed. And, you know, there, there's a fine line of like, how much should you push? Um, you know, how much should they be pushed and to develop the thing that they're doing versus, you know, and the practicality of it. They just need to get the darn thing done, get out the door, right? So you have to think about that, that you want a little bit of both, right? If they're not pushing you and getting you to go into depth enough, then your thesis is probably not going to be all that good. Um, and this is probably the next thing is, is, is the most important thing. So it's really your goals and ambitions that determine how long it should be. Um, you know, if you want to get out, nobody's stopping you to get out really soon, but then it's going to be harder to get in the job market to get things done. 
um, or to get a job. It, you know, really just depends on, on sort of how much effort and, you know, what kind of style you're going to do in terms of the job market and in terms of what you're going to do for the rest of your life, right? So if you want to go into really in-depth, um, that is one style. And then there's another style you do it very quick and you get out the door and you often have to determine, so it's very endogenous, the, the route that you take, you have to determine, you know, maybe you pick your advisors based on what you want to do. If you want to get out the door, then you pick advisors that are going to allow you to get out the door. Um, if you want advisors that are going to challenge you and, you know, you want to do more in-depth kind of work, then you pick advisors that are going to get you to do more in-depth kind of work. That's just really what you have to do is um, sort of determine what your route is. And it really depends on your your own ambitions going forward, right? So that's a really important thing. And then lastly, and this is kind of maybe it's important, maybe it's not, but your external members that you pick. So depending on your university, you're going to have to get people from outside of your department or outside of the university to come in and sit in and uh, read your dissertation and sometimes they push you pretty hard or you know sometimes they get you to remove stuff so if there's something that is not quite there it's not quite polished yet they'll get you to remove that and that's not uncommon right so that's going to make your dissertation shorter doesn't mean that you didn't write a lot of material but you just have to cut that stuff out and that's totally normal um, with the process that there is all these different factors along the way but you know, in general, you're probably looking at least just to get your point across. Um, you're looking, even if you're an amazing writer and you can get things across, um, you're looking at about 100 pages, um, if not more, to get things done. But it really does vary a lot um, depending on, you know, your goals and ambitions, the topic that you chose and the method, you know, the advisors that you have. It's really an endogenous process. And I wouldn't say that there's any clear cut answer with that. Uh, there is so much to go and so much for you to think about along the way to, to determine how long your dissertation should be. It's really up to you and it's really up to your life, right? I've talked about that a lot with this channel. Do, when you do any sort of graduate work or anything like that, it's really up to you and what you choose to do going forward. That's an important thing and what game you're going to play. Uh, if you're going to play the game... You know, in, in, in just depending on, it, it truly is. It's just, let's just leave it at that. It's truly up to you on where you want to go and what you want to do with um, your life. It's, it's, uh, it's one of those factors. All right, so that's all I'm going to talk about. And now you have the answer of how long your dissertation should be. Hopefully you like that. If you want to watch the other videos, you can definitely do that. And uh, I put it, oh, now, by the way, I put out the stuff every Mondays. So take care and have a wonderful day. All right, bye.